The head of the Vatican's communication department resigns over a scandal that's being called Lettergate. Monsignor Dario Vigano is under fire for mischaracterizing a private letter from Pope Benedict XVI. Vigano read aloud part of that letter at a book launch about Francis's theology on the fifth anniversary of his pontificate. He held it up as a sign of the continuity between the two popes, but Vigano omitted parts of the letter, and now he's stepping aside. Vatican correspondent Juliet Lindley joins us from Rome. Juliet, what did this letter say, and what did Monsignor Vigano omit? It was from Pope Benedict to Vigano, and it dismissed criticism of Pope Francis' apparent lack of theological depth and the perception that the Pope Emeritus was all about theology and not a true pastor. Now, in the letter, Benedict also thanked Vigano for sending him an 11-book series on Pope Francis' theology. However, Vigano left out a part in which Benedict said he actually didn't read the books and that he didn't approve of the inclusion of one of the authors who had been a longtime critic of his and of JP2's. Pope Francis has denounced fake news on more than one occasion since the beginning of his pontificate. How is this Lettergate scandal going to impact his reform? Well, although the resignation came with no mention of Lettergate, clearly the scandal's embarrassing. It comes amid accusations the Pope's own communications crew are possibly spreading fake news, manipulations that violate basic journalistical ethical standards. Is that's what, we're being, what, that's what we are looking at, especially when it comes to representing the content of an image. Now, that said, this crisis is being dealt with at lightning speed, especially by Vatican standards, and it clearly indicates that the, um, that the Holy See wants to move on as fast as possible and continue its reforms. Juliet, what's next for the communications department at the Vatican? Is Monsignor Vigano still going to play a part? Well, Pope Francis still needs Vigano's know-how in order to keep going with the, with the reform. So he's given him a position of consultant within the department. And meanwhile, his second-in-command is taking over temporarily. Now, that's Monsignor Lucio Ruiz, an Argentinian. It remains to be seen uh, who will take over permanently. Juliet Lindley, EWTN News Nightly Vatican correspondent, thank you so much for your time and insight. Thank you, Lauren.